Hi guys, it's Glenn here, and um, I just wanted to talk to you um, in response to the feedback we got from yesterday's announcement that we were going to end double discount on uh, smart spending for our own staff. So we announced that yesterday, and I tried to explain as much as I could, kind of the reason and the why um, behind the decision, and about you know our, how we try and get fairness in benefits, and how and you know how the double discount and smart spending wasn't measuring up to that. Um, and we gave a vehicle for you to give feedback um, uh, through a form at the bottom as well. So I wanted to make sure that we gave a, a place where you could talk and uh, share what you thought. Uh, and by uh, last night, 18 of you had done so. So I wanted you to know that your feedback was heard and listened to. Um, I read it as it came in. I had it on my screen yesterday during the leadership team uh, workshop. Uh, and I read it all out to the leadership team. I read the first 15 out to the leadership team, uh, which came in uh, before we ended. And the three more came in uh, overnight. So I want you to know that your feedback's important to us. Uh, and we listen and we hear it. Uh, and obviously, you know, for some of you are really disappointed yesterday. And you're really disappointed to have lost a benefit which you loved. Um, I tried to explain as clearly as I could in the original post why that was. Uh, it wasn't that we didn't know it wasn't popular. Uh, we knew it was popular in the UK in particular. Um, it just wasn't fair and equitable and it wasn't a well designed benefit for the company and for the rest of our staff. And it's never nice um, in my job when you've got to do something which you think is right but you know is going to upset or disappoint people. Um, but it doesn't mean that it's not right and it doesn't mean that it's not the right decision for me to take. Um, it just means it's not one of the decisions that I enjoy. You know, I, I like running an organisation where people are happy and they love coming to work and you know they can do great stuff and they get on with their you know their careers and their lives and stuff in a good way and I don't like running an organization where I've upset people uh that's just why I try and do it very rarely where, wherever I can um and you know yesterday for some of you uh, I didn't but my job uh is to lead all of you is to lead the 330 people we've got the 500 people we'll have in a couple of years and occasionally I'll have to take a decision which some of you won't like but I hope that what I'll do is I'll stick to the right principles and the um, the right values that I say we have and the things that mean that I can sleep at night um, and that I hope you judge me and us on the totality of life at Reward Gateway, our culture, our values, uh, our principles and what we do and I hope you accept that sometimes there'll be things that some of you won't like. The range of feedback we got it was the whole range, you know, some people were dis uh, disappointed, most people were disappointed who answered the feedback survey, the uh, 18 that we got, but some people were just disappointed, some people were disappointed and felt we'd communicated it badly, uh, some people were disappointed um, and, and didn't think, uh, and were looking forward to the new benefits that were coming out next week, some people didn't think the new benefits could be anything as good, uh, and some people just understood uh, and said they were grateful for the benefit that they'd had in the past and they were looking forward to the future. I think on the comms in particular, I'd just say that, you know, whether we got the comms right on this or not, I I, I still don't know. I've not decided that yet. Um, but I know that we didn't do it carelessly. We thought long and hard about the, the decision itself, which took several months, and we looked at lots of options, and we thought long and hard about the comms, about when, where, what vehicle, what channel, what method. Um, and I'm conscious that we're learning into internal comms all the time. It's really important to us. We never do this stuff carelessly. If it looks like we got it wrong and you think we should have done it differently, then it's good for you to tell me that. Uh, it's a learning process. Um, but I want you to know that we didn't do it carelessly. Uh, we did it. Uh, we did what we thought was the best, the least worst of all options and the, the best thing to do. Um, and I think I need some reflection afterwards to work out if there was a better way of doing it. So that's it from me. Um, this boom post has got a text version as well where I kind of trying to get my thoughts together as to what I wanted to say to you. Um, so you might want to scroll down and read that too, uh, or read that instead. It's kind of the same information, but a slightly different format. And I look forward to seeing you all at the GBU next week. Thanks ever so much for all your hard work, guys. Bye-bye.